Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Come Friday, the government will implement a temporary ban on the sale, processing and importation of conch. The Ministry of Fisheries says it's, uh, it's being done to protect Jamaica's depleting conch resources, but stakeholders are worried. TVJ's Andrew Laidley tells us more. Major changes are coming for the conch industry in Jamaica as a Damien report indicated that Jamaica's conch resources are running critically low. And while stakeholders agree with the temporary closed season, they are insisting that the government indicate how they plan to police it. So if there are people in the market, whether big or small, that are breaking the rules in terms of catching conch outside the season, catching more than a quota, I would have no problem with the, the, power, the people who have the power to enforce the regulations, enforce them. That is how you stop the illegal fishing, at least in, in, in the local sense. And while stakeholders agree that the resources are in fact depleted, they still argue that there's some missing information from the government. I have not seen anything in the media or in any of the declarations from either fisheries or the ministry on what is going to be done about dealing with the illegal fishing. General Manager at Rainforest Seafoods, Jerome Miles, says stakeholders are taking a leap of faith, knowing that export markets could be gone by the time the close season ends. There's a grave danger that when we, at whatever time, are able to re-enter the market, our markets may have been filled by others. So that's a, a big risk that is out there for the, the Jamaican Kong industry. Mr. Miles says jobs could also be hanging in the balance. It is going to have a, a devastating impact on members of the industry. Uh, rainforests may be able to weather it to some extent because we are broader than just conk, but there are players in the industry that have invested heavily in both equipment, boats, plants that will have idle capacity not to mention the numbers of people that are employed in the industry. Um, so it, it, it will have a significant impact on incomes of a lot of people in Jamaica. The ban will start on March 1 and will remain in effect until January 31 next year. During this period, it will be illegal for any person to sell, process or import conch meat. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. We go down to currency trading as the day ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $131.02. The Canadian closed at $100 flat. The pound is now selling for $169.55, while the euro closed the day at $148.20. The JSE index gained 999 points today, while the junior market index is up by 38 points. Among today's winners, iCreate, Medical Disposables and Supplies, Access Financial Services, Mayberry Investments, and Dolphin Cove. On the losing side were Pulse Investments, 138 Student Living, Everything Fresh, Seprod, and T-Tech. And that's your business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.